From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of evenings, LA, with incredible great news about your four stimulus check update in 2021. In your recording tonight, we'll be going over that monthly stimulus check and why the Democrats are likely to give you more months of checks than before. Then we turn to the recon with $3.5 trillion of checks for you. I'm really excited. Then we cut to the vote in, the bills, and what's starting next week. A lot of excitement, and the finish line is less than 14 days away, potentially seven days away. Then we cut to fist stimulus, which raises your benefits up a lifetime and gives you a new benchmark, especially if you're on SSI, SSDI, and veterans' benefits. And then we can turn to the thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars that viewers continue to get across the board. From this channel, I'll go over how you can get Fifteen to twenty thousand dollars on tonight's broadcast. It's a big evening across the land. I'm very excited for you for everything that's happening. Congratulations to all the Tour de France winners. Congratulations to Colin for his incredible win at the U at the Open in overseas today in golf. Let's get to it in a big evening of evenings. Alex. Congratulations to Colin on his incredible win at the Open in Golf overseas. Just an incredible win. And then congratulations to all the Tour de France winners, whether it was stage winners or also the wonderful double win for the Peloton leader throughout much of the tournament, throughout much of the race. Just an incredible weekend of sports. And of course, the Olympics starts this week, so I'll have coverage for the Olympic events as they unfold. How's the weather where you are? Jump in the live chat and tell me how the weather is. It cooled down. You can tell the flowers are excited. I'm excited. I'm matching the flowers. It's all muddled. No, it's not muddled. It's all pink tonight. And <laughs> Let's get to the details. Jump in the live chat and tell me where you're tuning in from and how this weather is. We're going to get into that four stimulus check tonight. A lot of breaking news. First, we're going to go over the number of checks. Then we'll go over the $3.5 trillion of checks for you. I'm really excited. This is all checks for you. I'll go over some of those checks in tonight's recording. Then we cut to the vote, the bill, the dates, everything you need to know about for next week. It's getting very exciting. You're going to be the most informed viewers across the board. Because trust me, next week's going to be confusing. <laughs> I'm going to make it easy and breezy for you to understand. And then we'll go over the big money that viewers continue to get. Tens of fifteen to $20,000. I'll go over how you can get that big money as well. And this is our life. America's only 24-hour day, seven days a week. Financial News Channel in America. Live in the morning, taped in the afternoons. Right before this was Afternoons LA. Coming up after this is Overnight's Crypto, followed by Sirloin. And subscribe. 4,000 subscribers, a YouTube record, next stop 1 million. I want you to be part of this channel. Hit that subscribe button right now. 400,000 in one year, next stop 1 million. Let's get to also the like button. Hit that like button. Every like helps in the algorithm rankings. And here we go. A wah, away we go into pandemic plus one year. You know what's different here in LA today? The mask mandate is back. LA was the first in the nation to mandate masks in 2020. And over two weeks ago, they suggested that they be voluntary. Now they're mandatory when inside, even if you're vaccinated. The pandemic, ladies and gentlemen, is not over. Pandemic plus one year, House bill. Compare that to the Senate in July to December. A House bill, 2000 first month, $1,000 thereafter. Senate amount monthly unknown, but we're on the street. Is this this? Deliciousness. <laughs> $2,000 over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 over six months, $8,400. Three weeks ago, we thought maybe the pandemic may be considered over. It ain't over, as COVID number of cases are rising in now 50 of 50 states. And those rising numbers are because of the pandemic not being over. Pandemic plus one year, well, the House bill may likely pay out pandemic plus one year, which would be more than 13 thousand dollars more than 12 checks compare that to this and the senate 
<laughs> I think you have an opinion. I think you have an opinion. Jump in the live chat right now and vote House of Senate, House of Senate. Tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. Also, tell me if you watch the Tour de France or if you watch the U.S. Open or uh, the uh, the Open Championship or both, as I did. <laughs> Boy, what a week. It's changed. Mass mandate back on in L.A. Yep, here we go. Who gets a fourth stimulus check? You do. Democrats represent that if you got a third stimulus check, you will get a fourth stimulus check. Single individuals, 75000 or less. Then married couple, 150000 or less. Democrats want you to have a forced stimulus check. Double it. Family of four. Democrats want you to have a forced stimulus check. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, survivor benefits, Democrats want you to have a forced stimulus check. It's not taxable. It's not income. It would be the same amount for everyone. Yes. And the forced stimulus check is not a waivable check. So despite how... Um, many of those wonderful minch lobster drinks you can have and still be totally fine and not wavy. If you see the check holding one at happy hour tonight and you try to wave with the check, hey, check, I see you're trying. Mitch is special. Uh, oh, it just fell over. <laughs> it's not a waveable check. It's just a check that can't drink its lobster. <laughs> he can't hold his lobster. Yeah, it's just a check that can't hold his lobster. <laughs> The fourth civil check would come in the month of July for the month of July the Democrats represent. And in the month of August for the month of August. But the great news is that the second part of this video, I'll be going over the $3.5 trillion of checks that you're getting. Yes, you are getting $3.5 trillion of checks under the recon. It has now been agreed upon. Wonderful news. I'll have a preview of some of the money you're getting under this incredible recon. Then we cut to this, then we cut to the third part of this video. And we'll be going over the vote, the bills, the dates, everything you need to know, and why the next 14 days are the most important 14 days, because we're likely to be done in the next 14 days, if not sooner. And why everything that you do is critical in these last few moments before the finish line. Here we go, it's heating up. Then we turn to fifth stimulus, which raise your benefits up, especially if you're on SSI, SSDI, and VA. And what Jay Powell said from the, the head of the Federal Reserve this week, exciting details. But first, let's get some money. That's what this channel does, gets people money. And you have been the big success story. Jump in the live chat right now and post the rent you got. Post, the ch post in the live chat the utilities you got. Post the snap you got. You're killing it. I have been making videos on this channel saying, hey, under third stimulus, I can get you a lot of money. Now let's back up. What's going on here? When second stimulus was passed, there was a $600 stimulus check. I said, well, yeah, $600. I'll be able to get you $6,000. I got viewers $15,000 on the second stimulus. When third stimulus passed, there was a $1,400 stimulus check for you earlier this year. And I said to viewers, stay with me and I'll get you $14,000. Now viewers are getting 24000 And when four stimulus passes and there's $3.5 trillion in there, guess what? You're going to be getting tens of thousands of dollars from me as well. So what's going on? Post in the live chat. When I said under rent, I can get you about $5,000, four to six months of rent, I undervalued it. Viewers are getting now $12,000 for this channel. Nisi got $20,000, $20,000 for rent and $3,000 on top of that for other items. When I talked about utilities, I said a couple hundred dollars viewers are getting three thousand dollars. When I talked about Snap, I said five to six thousand dollars of Snap viewers are getting twelve thousand dollars for Snap. Like John got ten thousand dollars for his family. And what are you doing? You're killing it. I'll get that pen and paper ready because I'm going to go over in this video the big money I can get you. Money is money, and if you get money, who cares what it's called? So long as there's a lot of it, and you continue to post in the live chat the money you got. When you post in the live chat, it inspires other people to get the money who haven't gotten. It inspires people to get other sums of money that they may not have gotten. Art Sullivan got three items from this channel. So if you got one, get three others. And also updates us about those numbers. We're going to get different sums of money right off the bat. We're going to get some rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and also homeowners utilities. The rent is about five to $6,000 of rent approximately, but you see the big numbers. Now, this is what I've been doing. In April of this year, last year, I launched this channel. People's EIDL checks, EIDL loan, and EIDL grant checks were not coming. There was no check to track. It ain't coming. I got it cashed. $25 million of them I got cashed for viewers this channel. Then in fall of 2020, second stimulus, the check was not coming. There was no check to track. But I got viewers $250 thousand dollars for rent viewers like tyrone got fifteen thousand dollars for his family for out of boston but now we're doing it again and you're killing it you're such an inspiration here we go get that pen and paper ready we're going to go over different paces with different eligibility 
don't take yourself out of the equation. Don't say, I don't know if I'm qualified. I don't know if I'll get it. Each has different eligibility. So apply, apply. You're going to reach out to different places. If one says no, reach out to the next. Get that pen paper ready. If it must be a Crayola crown, this is pink. It's not muddled anything. <laughs> Here we go. You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority, your state hall, your state housing authority, your county hall, your county housing authority. The keywords, as some viewers have said, Al, those keywords were critical. They knew what I was talking about. Are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. That's it. You don't say words they don't know, like stimulus or um, Mitch's wonderful time appearing on Star Search. <laughs> Star Search? Yeah, Mitch was on Star Search. You didn't know that? Yeah, I don't want to know that. <laughs> they don't want to know that. They don't want you to bring it up to them. So don't bring it up. <laughs> so there you go. And congratulations, Tim and Linda, who got this wonderful pot of money. The next pot of money is money for Snap. If you got rent, post your rent money in the live chat. If you got Snap, post as well. John got ten dollars or $12,000 for Snap. Lynn Glenn got it for herself, her son, and her mom. Gail got it. What is Snap? It's a fortune. Snap is money for food. You get it from the Department of Agriculture. How much does it pay? A lot. A family of four in Hawaii gets upwards of $16,000 a year now. Wow. Why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders. One from Biden, one from Trump that raised your benefits up 15% between now and December. So go get it. And you're killing it. Fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars $16,000 for staff for a family four in Hawaii. $5,000 for rent. And we are only 11 minutes of this video. Oh. The next pot of the money is wonderful. It's coming back from your states due to overpayment and computer error for unemployment benefits. One viewer got $3,000 for a minute. One viewer got $5,000. If you got this as well, jump in the live chat. When is it coming back? Uh, direct deposit. But if you want to track it, call up your state and say, hey, state, where is that check due to overpayment of unemployment benefits due to computer error? And can you track it with a computer that actually works this time? <clears throat> and finally, your wonderful pot of money back from IRS, that refund check on your unemployment benefits. IRS gave us an update. Margaret got, has reported she got hers. Todd got his, Michael got his as well. But guess what? IRS says that the refund check at this time is about an average of $1,265. Wow. The direct deposit start July 14th and paper check start July 16th for this round. And there will be another round every week all the way to the summer. OMG. Uh, can you track it? And when, where, uh, what do we need to know about this? First, let's say you had $9,000 of total unemployment benefits. You pay $5,000 of taxes, of which $4,000, which are taxes on unemployment benefits. Congratulations, you're getting back $4,000. Where? Direct deposit, otherwise in the mail. Can you track it? Yep, go to irs.gov and you can do a transcript search. It'll reveal stuff you never knew. Uh, it'll reveal stuff you don't want to know. It'll reveal stuff you don't want other people to see. <laughs> It'll reveal the taxes in your file, the taxes you pay. It'll reveal what was Mitch's song when he appeared on Star Search. <laughs> and it'll reveal the tax return refund check you're getting. Can we top that? We can as we go into the second part of our fourth stimulus check update 2021 starting right now. Recon. $3.5 trillion of checks are there for you in that recon. There was an agreement and it's been reached. The agreement... Among Senate Democrats, didn't require a, a bill vote. It's just a meeting of them with voting. And they agreed. Done. $3.5 trillion of checks for you under the wonderful for stimulus recon. Now, how do we get to this wonderful spot of passing the price tag of the recon? By taking roads and bridges out of it. Originally, that recon was enormous. It had roads and bridges out in there. But... They asked the Democrats, they said, get the roads and bridges out of there. It's too big. We won't approve it. So they took roads and bridges out and shrunk it, and they have now agreed upon it. Done. $3.5 trillion price tag is agreed upon. That is your recon. Lots of stimulus, lots and lots of checks for the American people. All of it is in the recon is checks for the American people. $3.5 trillion of this. Now, how did we get to that wonderful spot? It was confirmed in, a, in an op-ed in a conservative publication, confirming my reporting, which was by taking roads and bridges out of the recon and made it passable. And that is what happened. $3.5 trillion is the agreed upon prize. So the higher the price tag was for the recon with the roads and bridges in there, the harder it was to pass. There you go, confirmation. But by allowing Democrats to take out some of the spending from the bipartisan roads and bridges, but, uh, from the recon and put it into the bipartisan roads and bridges, the overall price tag of the recon got smaller, obviously. In other words, the bipartisan deal made the recon passable. Sorry to set you up, Mitch. 
But here's how life has changed so quickly. Mitch no longer feels set up. He feels celebratory because he's ecstatic with fellow Republicans about the infrastructure, the bipartisan. They love it. They're ready to get it done. Wow. Mitch loves it. Now, here's what's important for you to know going into the new week. As you go into this new week, there is multiple names being used for recon and bipartisan. And I don't want you to hear a name and say, which one is that for me? <laughs> Your recon is also called reconciliation. It's also called budget bill. You recognize it by the price tag, $3.5 trillion. You recognize it by the people behind it, Bernie Sanders. And bipartisan, totally different. That's roads and bridges. Nothing for you in the bipartisan, roads and bridges. What is bipartisan also called? It's also called infrastructure. How do you recognize it? $1.5 trillion. And who's usually, usually quoted in articles about it? Mitt Romney and Kristen Sinema. So there you go. Well, by shrinking the recon, now the, the Republicans, by shrinking the recon and taking roads and bridges out, the progressives were able to add other policies in there, growing it up to $3.5 trillion, And that number was a number Bernie Sanders and the progressives applauded. More about that vote later in this video. But this is what the progressives said they were going to do. And they got it done. So Representative Elon Omar said, we have a commitment that regardless of what happens to the bipartisan, we'll get a recon that goes as far as we want. She got it, 3.5, exactly what she wanted. And then Representative Richie Torres said that he refused to vote for the bipartisan unless the recon was big enough. He got it, 3.5 trillion. And the progressives were meeting daily with the White House to ensure the recon was big enough. They got it, 3.5 trillion. Checks and checks and checks for you. Now let's understand what a recon is and understand what this reconciliation is for you in this fourth stimulus. Now, as you've seen when I did earlier in this video, second stimulus and third stimulus, there's fortunes in each of these stimulus packages for you. There's never a situation where it's only one group of people. Later in this video, you're going to see that there's money for everyone in this fourth stimulus recon. But this fourth stimulus recon is huge, $3.5 trillion. Here's what you need to know. What is a recon? A recon is a bill. It stands for reconciliation. It's written by Democrats for Democrats to be passed by Democrats. Who writes it? Subcommittees in the House dedicated their subject matter under the Constitution. House Ways and Means, for example, is responsible for the subject matter of stimulus checks and unemployment. They're writing those subjects for the Fourth Stimulus Recon. Under the Constitution, there's no requirement for transparency. So they have to show, do not have to show you what they're writing. They have to show you what they're taking out or what they're putting in or what they're voting on or what they're voting against. And along the way, you're not going to see what they've done. Let's say we have 10 subcommittees that are ultimately going to do 10 pages of what becomes a bill. It gets it it combined and sent up to Nancy and Chuck. Chuck puts an S on it for Senate, and they call it for a vote. But until Chuck puts an S on it, you ain't going to see what there is. It's sort of like a pop singer of an album. If you're a fan of that pop singer and want to see, I want to hear one of the songs on the new album before it comes out. No, you can't unless you illegally steal it. They don't want you to have it. So do not bring a false narrative. I haven't heard anything about, guess what? That's exactly what I'm reporting and print me and broadcast mainstream media is reporting that we have not heard what's in the recon. So until you see it, you can't say you haven't heard it, hence it doesn't exist. No, you haven't heard it because they haven't shown it to you. There's a difference. I'm going to say it again. You haven't heard because you, it's not you haven't heard because they haven't because you don't think it's in there, you haven't heard because they haven't told us. <laughs> There's a whole different ball of wax there. Now, when they get it for that vote, oh, then Jalapal will reveal to us what she's been protecting. And how do we get to this wonderful spot? From Jalapal. Jalapal had written a letter to Schumer saying, call the vote, Chuck. And that letter was signed by 12 House Democrats who are among the 100 plus, yes, 100, who had said, we're going to be putting monthly stimulus checks in that four stimulus package. Wow. Can we top that? We can. As seven members of the House Ways and Means Committee, the same one I just went over, wrote the president a letter saying they're going to put monthly stimulus checks in the four stimulus package. OMG. Monthly? Yes. And they say they're doing a fifth stimulus check next year as well. Wow. Now, you have to push purple power because legislators change their mind. You have to make sure they keep their promise to us. Can we top that? We can. As the president has now gotten the international corporate tax rate minimum, finally, law. Four weeks ago, you saw that ceremonial signature by the president overseas. It was a ceremonial. This week, it became finally law. What is it called? It's called the Global Minimum Corporate 
tax rate internationally. If that sounds like it's a, a tongue twister and incredibly difficult to say, guess what? It was incredibly difficult to write. <laughs> and no one wanted to write in on the forced stimulus recon. Now it makes it easier to pass forced stimulus recon. Why? Obviously. One, they don't have to write about it in there. Number two, it makes it easier to vote on it because it's not in there. No one has to say that or look at that confusing thing. Number three, it makes it easier to call the vote on it. And number four, it makes it easier to pass because that confusing thing's not in there. There you go. Can we top that? We can. In the third and final part of this Force Stimulus Check Update 2021, the final 15 tonight, you're going to hear breaking news you never heard before. We're going to go over... The recon, then the bipartisan, and then back to the recon. You're going to hear about the vote, the dates, what's happening in the next seven days, what's happening in the next 14 days. You're going to hear the vote on Tuesday. What is that vote for? What is it not the vote for? It's a critical amount of information in this file 15. And yes, I have some of the checks from the four stimulus recon to go over with you as well. There's a lot happening in the last second half of this video. We'll also go over fifth stimulus was raise your benefits up as promised to the president to my seniors and everyone else during the campaign trail. That's getting very exciting, but can we top that? We can. The volunteers. If you need help with rent, utilities, internet, or snap, and you can't find it, don't worry. Open the description of this video. In the description, you'll see a link to the community page, news.la.com forward slash community. It has an emoji of a house. Click the house. It'll send you over to that community page. There on the page is pictures of kitty cats. They're not the volunteers. They're just kitty cats. Lower on the page are the volunteers. They're separated from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Reach out to them, and they'll help you get those big sums of money. And I will be back with you in 60 seconds with the exciting final 15, don't miss them, of your fourth stimulus and fifth stimulus update tonight. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now on Evening's Alley with a lot of breaking news in the final 15 of tonight's recording. We'll be going over the exciting details about what's going on with the vote next week. We'll go over why we're only less than 14 days from finality, potentially less than seven days as well. And then we cut to fifth stimulus, which raises your benefits up across the board. And this is LA. Subscribe. 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record in one year. I want you to hit that subscribe button and be part of this family. Like the video. Every like helps. Earlier today, people were not. We're forgetting to like the video. Thousands of people in the room and they weren't liking the video. So remember to like the video every single time you're in there. And consider becoming a member. The link's under the video where it says join. Coming up next is Overnight's Crypto. Stay on this video. It'll take you automatically there. Sir Loin rejoins us at 8 o'clock tonight, and there's overnight shows throughout the, board, all, all throughout the board overnight. And then join me on early mornings tomorrow with a new show as well. So let's cut to Fisk Simulus. When running for president of the United States, the president had promised to the American people the SSI reform that they deserved. During the transition papers, he promised it again, but he didn't deliver it. So what happened? Congressional leaders saw the promises and wrote the president a letter saying they're putting in the fiscal recon what he promised but has yet to deliver. 
they say they're going to raise your benefit limits up, remove the asset limits, increase inflationary benchmark, then remove the asset cap and remove the marriage penalty, and also the income cap would go away. This is huge. How does this work? First, you. <laughs> Who gives this? You do. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, Survivor Benefits, SSA, or Multiple Benefits Trace. Your benefits will be lifted one big time. Next, they'll apply a benchmark. That benchmark will be inflation, and they'll apply it in about December. This would likely go all to a vote in around October, and then they'll apply the benchmark right after that. And that benchmark is inflation. Jay Powell, your head of the Federal Reserve, testified on Capitol Hill this week and said the same thing he said last month, that inflation is going up and it's going to reach its peak in December as a temporary or what he calls transitory peak before it comes back down. This is huge news because this is when they apply your benchmark. So how high? I have been saying 5% inflation rate in December, and that's what Wall Street said this week as well. Wow. So they'll raise your benefits up one time, and then they'll apply a benchmark. That Let's say that benchmark is 5%. Your benefits will step up 5%, just not next year, lifetime. Because once your benefits step up, they never step down. Wow. That's incredible. Great news. If the inflation rate is 2% the year after that, you'll be a plus 5, plus 2%. Next, they're going to move the asset cap dating back to a 1980s law that says you can't have more than $3,000 on hand. It's going to go away. And now you'll be able to have some stimulus checks in your hand. And maybe um, some pink Crayola crowns. <laughs> the income cap will go away, so now you'll be able to work if you wish. And finally, the marriage penalty will end. Love is going to win, and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest. Viewers will be able to get married and no longer fear loss of benefits like Rob and Sandy. And if you have been married, your benefits will be restored. So there you go. Now, FIS stimulus also will have another stimulus check. Those House Ways and Means committees represent that they'll be giving you a FIS stimulus check in that as well. And uh, the president has dedicated $1 billion to Social Security Administration going forward. Great to ensure your checks go out on time. Finally, if you're missing a first, second, or third stimulus check, you need to file a tax return and request it. That's what's required by the, by the IRS. If you're on the live chat and notice a lot of people who have purple emojis next to their name and you want one, then hit that join button underneath this video. By joining, it shows you the details about how to learn about the big money. By becoming a member, you're delivered daily from me to you about all the big money that's available under third stimulus. By becoming a member, you'll notice in the live chat, you see all these members posting these big success stories. They were delivered daily from me, and I'm still delivering it daily to my members. All the big monies are available on third stimulus. Because remember, there is a $14 stimulus check, but I'm going to get you $14,000 if I can. And there you go. And can we top that? Yes, we can. As we go into the final Four, third and final fourth stimulus check update of 2021 starting right now going over the bill the votes and everything you need to know and boy it's getting exciting as we start we need to keep the two items separate recon your money reconciliation budget bill and bipartisan over here not your money also called infrastructure now here is what you need to know they originally could not get the vote done by July 4th because the recon had roads and bridges in there at the time. Now that roads and bridges are out, the recon has become passable. And the price tag has already passed. Let's start with recon, then we'll go to bipartisan, and we'll go back to recon. Number one, we got a deal. The price tag of the recon is done. It's $3.5 trillion of checks for you. If you don't realize, the recon is only checks for you. It's social reform checks, checks for all different types of people, lots of checks for a lot of different situations, lots and lots of $3.5 trillion of checks. This huge accomplishment is in part two parts of accomplishment. Number one, the fact that it's done. Senator Tim Kaine said that it's a huge achievement to get it done, the price tag, because all you do after that is sort of slide in the numbers to where the unique things on the bill. Number two, the price tag is historic. The price tag is historic. Bernie Sanders says that the, the agreement on the $3.5 trillion is a historic day in the U.S. economy, in the U.S. families, and the U.S. country. Why? Because he said he went in there asking for $7 trillion. He couldn't get it, but he got $3.5 trillion, which has the same provisions as a seven, just a shorter period of time. Notice 3.5 is half the value, half the number of seven. <clears throat> so there you go. Progressives love it. De moderate Democrats love it. They're all ecstatic about it. 
And with that, there's $3.5 trillion of checks, which I will cover for you and get for you throughout this channel's existence before we get into fifth stimulus. But what are the other items that are in there? In addition to what we've been promised, well, a conservative publication got a hold of some of the items it claims are in there, some of them, not an exhaustive list, and the items are wonderful. Here you go. Here are some of the items additionally in the fourth stimulus recon. Checks for free, free school meals. Checks for tax breaks. Checks for prescription medication. Checks for immigration reform. Checks for green farming. Checks for money and for election. Checks for free internet. They're going to be giving internet, free internet to local cities so they can run it and give it to you for free. Checks for clean energy perks. Lots of checks for workers. Checks for independent contractors and unionized workers, and lots of checks for seniors. Medicare expansion, checks for hearing, checks for vision, checks for dental, and checks across the board for seniors. Wow. Now that you have that, let's turn over to bipartisan roads and bridges or infrastructure, how you may call it. We have a wonderful item because they said to us on Wednesday that they're going to agree upon the deal provisions of the bipartisan by Thursday. This is huge because they basically said last week that they don't need to worry about anything. All they had to do is come to agreement on the deal provisions that once they do, they just slot it into bill format. Wow. So they worked all weekend long and they're likely to announce their agreement of the provisions within days. When do they say the vote will happen? They say the vote will happen this week. Wow. Do I think that's the case? No. I think it's the week after. That's what mainstream media is thinking as well. I don't think the vote's this week. But here you go. This is great news because guess what? The recon has to go for a vote before that, which means the recon could go for a vote as early as this week. Remember to pass these two items. You have to have the recon go first, then the bipartisan. The recon can't go months ahead of time, but certainly a day or two or so ahead of the re a reconciliation in uh, in before the uh, before the budget before the uh, bipartisan. Incredible, great news. Now. What is important to know is that the bipartisan effort is ramping up and speeding up quickly. Mitt Romney spoke over the weekend and says he, they, we're going to get it done. It's just very close to being finished. A Congressional Budget Office report is being released this week, CBO, and I'll talk about how much the scorecard is, scorecard is on the infrastructure. The scorecard is how much debt it creates for the national debt. But Mitt Romney, a former finance guy, head of Bain Capital at one time, says he's not worried about the CBO. He thinks that all the Republicans are on board and he's going to get it done. If you've been with me with this channel, there's always a Mitt Romney plan for something. <laughs> he loves to write and he writes very quickly. And in second summers, he got things done within just days. So this looks like it's getting to the finish line, folks. Very exciting. Which brings us back to the recon. With the bipartisan nearly set for a vote, then the recon is nearly set for a vote. And here's what you need to know, is that as we get very, very, very close to the finish line, you have to push harder than you pushed before. Now, when we were going over second stimulus in fall of 2020, we have been waiting since April with the HEROES Act and nothing was getting done. In fact, the HEROES Act never happened. But out of nowhere, I came up with the idea of putting stimulus in a continuing resolution that runs the federal government's budget. People thought I was crazy. Who's that YouTube person saying, put stimulus checks in a continuing resolution budget? I said, well, I have to go somewhere, put it there. And they got that thing to do, so put it there. And we pushed to have them put it there. And then after about a week of pushing, they agreed and said, hey, we're putting stimulus in the CR. We looked at it and we realized oh, it's the wrong stimulus. They're putting unemployment stimulus in there. We pushed back and it took a few days, but suddenly they put that in there. The reason I bring this up is to remember that these things change very quickly. After that, there were days and times where the stimulus check was going out, going back in, going higher, going different left and right on eligibility. Things were changing by the minute. And then we had a moment, I clearly remember visually where I was when I heard it, that Senator Toomey said he was going to blow up the whole bill altogether. That wasn't even going to pass. That's how these final 14 days are so critical. You have to push purple power. You can't assume anything, and you absolutely cannot become a donut guy or post a donut comment because they need to push. When you're looking at Democrats dealing with $3.5 trust me, each of them wants as much of that $3.5 for their 
item that is across the board. So call up your Democrat senator. Say, I need stimulus checks, like WR did. He called up Senator Pat Coomey and said, uh, Coons, and said, I need stimulus checks. I'm going to tell you why. No time or place at all for you to say, what day, when, what day, when, when is it laying in my bank account? No time at all for that because they can roll over and change their mind on the spur of the moment. We need to push to keep them on point. Now, here is what's exciting about next week is that next week there's going to be a flurry of activity. On Wednesday, there's activity for the recon, but it's not a vote and it's not a bill. On Tuesday, a vote will be called that will ultimately cause people who do not watch this channel or do not want to know the complete story, hear it, come in here likely, and suddenly post false narratives. What is happening on Tuesday? Let me first tell you what's going to happen, and then I'm going to tell you what I anticipate people who don't want to listen to the whole story are going to think that happened, incorrectly think that happened. On Tuesday, Chuck Schumer will call a closure vote in which he tells the infrastructure people, I'm ending the time for you to debate on the infrastructure within a few days from now. Basically saying you'll no longer be able to debate or argue or talk about that infrastructure past that date. It's not a vote on the bill. It's just a vote on when they need to stop talking and call it for a vote. Will it pass? Absolutely not. Democrats and conservatives don't want to be told when to stop talking about something. They don't want to be rushed. Remember, we don't have the bipartisan written to the bill format yet. So that's their contention of why are you forcing us to stop talking about something if we don't have the bill to format. But Chuck Schumer's methodology has been working because they've been ha the Republicans have been rushing to get it to bill format. Makes really good sense. There you go. Now you're informed about what it is. Here's what I expect for you to hear on Tuesday and Monday and Wednesday. I expect you to see people jumping left and right saying, I heard Chuck is calling a vote on our stimulus checks. Or, I heard Chuck call a vote and I didn't hear stimulus checks mentioned. Or, I heard Chuck call a vote and the recon didn't pass. <laughs> uh, Chuck is not calling a vote on stimulus checks. Chuck is not calling a vote on recon. And what he's calling a vote on will not pass. <laughs> Then there are going to be some people who do understand this infrastructure and they say, I heard Chuck call a vote on the infrastructure bill. No, he didn't call a vote on any bill. <laughs> I heard Chuck call a vote on something and that something didn't pass and I didn't hear and hence, um, yeah. <laughs> people are going to get very, very confused. And with that confusion, don't let that person make you think that, oh, did I miss something? Did some major event just happen that I missed? No, <laughs> it's not like that. Um, but I understand it's confusing. It's confusing. You got three bills to pass and you don't have three bills written yet to finale. You have an infrastructure procedural and infrastructure substantive and a bipartisan nine, 12 voting steps. Doesn't that take 12 days, but four rounds, excuse me, three rounds of four Senate subcommittee, Senate floor, house and president. What's important for you to understand purple power is you need to push to the finish line. These final 14 days are critical. Yeah, the bipartisan claims are going to get the vote done by next week. I think it's going to be the week after. And if it is the week after, then the recon could go for a vote this week, if not the week after. And when that recon comes out of the subcommittees, we're going to see where the $3.5 trillion is delegated to. Remember, it's $3.5 trillion of checks for you. Checks for this subject matter, checks for that subject matter. There's a lot of checks, whether it's medication or, pers or whether it's labor, independent contractor money, or whether it's this type of that or this type of this. And ultimately, that's in addition to their representation. They're putting monthly so much checks in there. When we see it, it's not a finality. Time to push back if we don't like something in there. But it's not time to wait for it either. You need to push right now. It is not the time or place whatsoever to be posting comments like, I haven't heard. You're not being told because it's not being debuted yet. Just like a pop singer with their album. They're not going to show you the songs until it's released. Number two, it's not time or place to get confused with the facts. If you don't know the facts or you're confused, post a question. But don't say, I heard a vote on Tuesday. And that vote did, you know, it, it brought back Colt Zero. It brought back Jolt Cola. 
It it it, it reincarnated the um the uh, the glaciers. What? If you don't know what it is, then zip it. <laughs> Number three, along the way things change, and if you're with me for second stimulus. Trust me, you saw how you woke up in the morning of December on one particular day, and by the evening, things just changed 20,000 times. So there's no time or place to say the fate has been delegated and that it's all etched in the, in the stones of history. No, it's not done yet. Not law yet. Not bill yet. Yeah, we have an emoji for that. Use it. <laughs> And there you go. Coming up next is Overnight's Crypto. And then we go into early mornings at light. But first, between Overnight's Crypto and Sir... Well, first, we go into Overnight's Crypto. Then we go into Sir Loin. And then we go into our overnight shows. And then a brand new early mornings at light tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. Sir Loin is at 8 o'clock tonight. And finally, a personal message. Boy, I probably should put it at the top of this video. A wonderful viewer about three weeks ago jumped to the live chat of one of the videos and said, LLA, can you bring back Sir Loin? My father has stage three cancer. Sir Loin was the only character, he explained, that his father was the only thing that had caused his father to smile. With stage three cancer, that father was just in not a lot of comfort. And when he would watch my recordings of Sir Loin, the father would smile. So that viewer said, LLA, can you bring back Sir Loin? That viewer's name is the real Chadster. Over the next week or two, I couldn't remember his name, but I did bring back Sir Loin, and I brought it back because of that father. I asked other viewers, can you find him? Can you find him? I don't know where he is. I would jump in the Sir Loin videos as well to try to find him myself, and I couldn't. And then finally, I found him, and I saw him one night, and he said, thank you for bringing it back. My father smiles now. We had not seen him smile in ages when he watches Sir Loin. But then, last night, a shocking revelation. Ch the chatster said in the live chat, LA Late, you cannot believe what happened. Yesterday, my father, after watching your sirloins over the last two weeks, after finally smiling for the first time in a long time, got out of bed and is now walking for the first time in three months because of sirloin. It's that type of impact that this channel hopes to have as a family on everyone. Things impact people and understand that we're here as a family to help one another. For every person that Sirloin has helped, there's always a person who will jump in the Sirloin and say, Sirloin, can you just tell me when my stimulus check is coming in my bank account? And he'll say, I'm eating the grass, don't bother me. <laughs> understand the message for uh, the real chatster was absolutely overwhelming. So I will have a new sirloin tonight and every night for the real Chatster and his father. And I'm so excited for his, the real Chatster and his father. He's now walking around and smiling for the first time in three months. Your prayers are with me, and I'll see you tonight on uh, Sirloin. And with that, stay informed, stay focused, stay positive, and stay uh, with me as we go into Overnight's Crypto coming up next. Stay, uh, and also, subscribe. <laughs> I forgot to say that as well. Hit that like button and have a beautiful evening. And stay with Ally.